All right, here we are in Satisfactory again. I have expanded my base, and it's now even more horrible. But it's also more better because I'm producing supercomputers at a rate. Uh, what is the rate of supercomputer production? Anyway, in this video I'm going to be taking all of my power offline except for my geothermal generators because right now, yeah, what would you say? So it's 60%, not too bad. I've got to set low because my computer production is slow and I don't want to speed it up and I'm not doing that right now. Uh, my power production is now being completely supplied on geothermal. Uh, more than more than I need, so I'm gonna take the other capacity offline, and because uh, we don't need it. So here we go. I don't need it. Yeah. Then maybe I'll switch the. I think I'll just leave the generators there. I'll just disconnect them, uh, and that way. If I ever need him again, I can just hook him back up. Uh huh. I still have a gun. Isn't that great? Yeah. We wouldn't want to be without a gun. Couldn't see anything. What? No. You don't see stuff with guns. Shoot Couldn't shoot anything. That's right. Yeah, the stuff that's far away you couldn't shoot. I think at some point they're going to add like actual gunpowder guns. This is just like a spring gun. Yeah, black one. Gonna get a black one. Yeah. So over here is my coal power plant. Whoops. You can get hurt again. Oh, no, oh, I'm fine. Uh, right here. Coal power plant. So, let's see. I've got to disconnect that without disconnecting the coal mines, because the coal mines are providing my steel production. So, let's see. That comes in here. That goes in here. Uh, maybe I'll just put the coal mines on a separate... It'd be easier than rewiring. I'm gonna disconnect that. And disconnect... So this will be our mining hole. Here we go. Satisfactory factory tour. Here we are at the geothermal plant, and I've got quite a few of these now. Uh, I don't think I've got all the spots, but I've got 11. Uh, so I've got, I think, 2200 megawatts in geothermal alone, and then the rest in oil fired plants. Uh, so way up there is my truck line to the quartz deposit. I ran across this quartz deposit while I was out exploring, and then I went through all this trouble to build the giant ramp, and I'd get the truck all the way up there, and then uh, on the way back I found another quartz deposit that was much closer and easier to get to, but you know what? That's okay. If I just waited until... Uh, until the quartz was officially out, then it wouldn't have been a problem, but... Hey, there you go. So there's the quartz line. Um, I've got a SAM node down here. 
the weird thing about this strange alien metal is it doesn't seem to keep mining. Like, I can't get any more ore out of this ore spot. Uh, maybe that's a bug, or maybe it's intended, I don't know. But, I set this whole thing up, and got a truck going, and then I was like, wait, nothing is being produced, and when I try to pick it up, I don't get any. So, uh, it's down here. So, I've got this whole truck thing, but, uh, no strange alien metal to, to truck. Anyway... That was kind of disappointing. Hmm, I don't know. I think I may have turned it off. I think I turned it off when I learned that the strange alien metal doesn't produce. So here's the Caterium. Uh, I've got a level 2 miner, I think, up there. I am turning it into spools. I should have transported it in ingots instead of spools because I think it doubles the size when you convert it into spools. Oh, more than doubles. Yeah. So it goes from 15 to 60. Quadruples! Quadruples the rate. But, uh, you know, it works. It's 240. And we're using all of it. We use more even. But anyway, I should have just transported the ingots to the base and then made the wire on site. Live and learn. Um, so anyway, this is all the Caterium wire going back to base. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, there's a, an oil spot over there with all the oil generators, and that's what is producing all the overhead. Not that I'm using any of it, but hopefully, when the update comes out, I'll be able to produce a bunch more factories, and uh, or I'll need to, and we can use that stuff. Uh, so here's the truck depots. One of them produces sulfur, I think. Let's see. Now oh, we can go down and look. Um, over here is the the line to the coal. And then that one over there is the strange alien metal that doesn't go very far. But let's see. Yeah, this is the raw quartz, and I think this one's sulfur. Oh, here comes the sulfur truck. Maybe we can go for a ride. Yeah, sulfur. I don't know. What do you think, Barney? Should I go for a ride, or should I just stay here at base? He's not paying attention. So I'm not using either of those for anything right now, because you can't. But hopefully at some point, uh, that'll go him into the game. And then I'll have him ready. So here is uh, concrete. And of course, so much concrete. Because you can never have too much. And then here is my giant base. It's gotten even gianter -er since last time. Um, this is still the heavy frames factory over here. And. Uh, down here is all the iron stuff with the uh, spools. Pretty much nothing has changed except for this second deck that I added. Uh, well, and a little bit of stuff over here. So I added more storage for motors because I had used up all my motors, or I had filled up a container with motors, so I figured may as well fill up another. Everything was backed up. Um, added some more pipe, steel pipe factories up here because the steel pipe was getting all used up. Um, supercomputers. I've got a supercomputer factory with all the supercomputers. I've got a whole container full of supercomputers now. Uh, that's basically what all this stuff is up here. There is the bauxite storage, I think. And then here's uh, extra plastic and rubber. I think the rubber was in, in the last video, but anyway. And then the bauxite nodes are right over there, so I've got bauxite for days whenever bauxite becomes usable. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the base. Build stuff. I've been saving hard drives. Here, I'll go take a look at the, the home node.
I've been saving up hard drives because I figure there's going to be more recipes later in the game. And I don't want to use them all up on the early game stuff, so I've got 12 saved up. And then I'm saving these power slugs too, just in case you get to breed them at some point. And of course, uh, Summer Sloop and Mercer Spheres. Silica. I haven't found any silica nodes, so I've been stockpiling silica. Um, should probably throw the box out of the way now, since I've got a whole container of it. And there's a strange alien metal. Yeah, I don't know. The strange alien metal, maybe it's limited. Maybe you can't get more than whatever's on the map. Whatever you find. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, oh, uh, and then I've got my stores of um, non-renewables over here. So there's my... Whatever. Medical inhalers, yeah. And uh, berries. Of course, I'm in the, the desert, so there's lots of barrel nuts, but... I've been trying to collect more pale berries and things as I go out. Let's go for a ride on uh, the silica, or not silica, sulfur, sulfur truck. Of course, it just left. Maybe we'll be back. Because that's a nice journey. Then we can see a few more of the things I built. So this is basically all I'm going to do uh, until the the next update comes out, just because there's nothing left to do, really. I've got all the technology, I've got all the things, I've got mines put in everywhere. Oh, there's one more thing over in, uh, over there, right under the, um, right under the quartz deposit, up on the cliff. I found, um, uranium down in the, the mine, and that was a trip, because you go down there and, like, the, the little health ticker starts beeping and it's got a little radioactive symbol and it's like whoa that's so I haven't seen that before and uh, so I played around a little bit with that and ended up making a, a terrible mistake by storing up if you if you have uranium in your inventory then it starts damaging you from you know radiation or whatever uh, so I I built a container which of course like you build containers and then you store up ore right well I built a container and started storing up ore and then like the the radioactivity area started growing I was like oh no this is not good. So it it turns out that you don't want to store up uranium in a big container. Like, who knew, right? Uh, and I don't know if it's going to be even worse with, like, if you're going to have to refine it into yellow cake and then, like, very carefully and slowly transport it space far apart from other uranium so that you don't get horrible radiation concentration. But anyway, I, I built this storage container and then... Uh, it started filling up, and I was like, oh, I should just deconstruct it. And so I deconstructed it, but of course then all the inventory from the container went into my inventory, and then I was like, meow, dead. So, yeah, don't do that. That's that's not a good plan. Um, yeah, let's just wait for this thing to arrive. Well, I got bored waiting for the truck to come back, so I just made my own. We'll, we'll follow the track, but we won't be constrained to it. Probably won't crash into the other one on its way back. The way I've zeroed in on, as uh, at least for me, the best way to build outposts is I go out on foot, uh, figure out where the, the thing is, then on the way back, build power poles um, back to wherever it is that you're you're starting from, and that way you can find the route pretty easily with the power poles. And then, oh, and, and build uh, bridges and stuff. So you build bridges and power poles and clear the way and stuff all the way on the way back. And then you only have to drive out and back once for the autopilot circuit. And that works pretty well. So on the way out, you're not building anything. You're just just finding the thing and clearing out the baddies. And uh, oh, there he is. We didn't have to wait too long. That's okay. We'll beat him out, and then can always.
go do something else. I was thinking about setting up a autopilot uh, sorting facility for wood and making filters and gas masks and um, sorting out artifacts and things. So we'll see if I get around to that. Probably not until the next update. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So that in, out and back once on foot and then out and back once in the truck. I've tried building power poles in the truck where you get out every hundred meters or whatever, but it's too much a hassle to get in and out of the truck all the time. And then you overshoot and you gotta walk back and I don't know. It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. So that way you're not getting in and out of the truck all the time. Uh, the only the only drawback to that method is that you have to plan ahead and make sure that you have enough concrete on you. Because <laughs> if you run out of concrete, it's a real drag, too. Uh, you can't build bridges and things. So, yeah, you got to have enough to build all the power poles and all the bridges and stuff. But then you don't have to carry any factory stuff with you because it's just an outpost, right? It's just a miner and a depot. Um, maybe some refineries if that's, if that's something you're trying to do. I, I never noticed that road over there. Maybe that road would be easier, but I built this bridge and I'm going to use it. So it looks like in this game, uh, the northwest corner is the desert starting place. I don't know if when you start in a desert, if it starts you randomly in either of the deserts or any of the deserts, but um, when I started, it was in the northwest desert. And then the northeast is the jungle. And then kind of the south central is the plains. So that's where we are now, it's in the south central. And uh, again, this sulfur deposit is really far away, like it's way over on the other side of the map. And I think there must be one closer, but uh, I don't have a way to detect them, because they're not supported in the game yet. So probably, probably there's one closer. But this is the only one I found, so this is the one I'm using. Just trucking to it, and it's not like fuel's expensive. I'm just dig it out of the ground and refine it. So this is pretty cool. Neat arch. Perfect to put a bridge through. I really wish those giant mountains in the background were reachable, but maybe it's better than not. This game is already pretty huge as it is. Oh, and then I should go over and, and look at the... I explored over in the uh, the fallow lands across the giant gap over there, the chasm. Oh, I'll show you. Anyway, here's the, here's the base. I'm going to get out before it loads anything in there. But, uh, yeah, here's my truck station. It's got... Uh, why is biofuel in it? Probably put that in there. Yeah. Alright, so let me go back here and just show you the spot. These are all documented on, um, what is it, satisfactorymap.com or something. Someone put together a, an interactive map that you can find all this stuff on. So, I actually know this isn't the, the closest one to my base. It's probably one of the furthest ones from my base, but it's the one I found and I didn't want to cheat by looking it up beforehand. So I looked it up afterward so I could feel bad about myself. Alright, let's go back and find those floating things. Maybe we'll take a truck back. And I realized that you could power this separately by finding coal or something, coal or oil nearby and building a separate power plant. But power poles are so cheap I've got so much cable anyway that it's it's fine. It doesn't matter. Just run the power lines. And like I said, the power lines make it easier to navigate because then when you're driving, you don't have to think about where you're going. You just have to make sure you're steering properly and uh, just keep the power poles in, in sight and you're fine. All right, well, I guess it's the end of the video. Gotta go, bye.